Hello folks, today we're going to be covering some Bitcoin news. We're going to be taking a look at our current positions that we opened for the weeklies and we're going to analyze some data, uh, look at some charts to see what is the plan for the week. So stay tuned. Welcome everyone. So currently Bitcoin is at 67,261. Meanwhile, Ethereum is at 2,619. That being said, we have some news for Bitcoin. But before we jump into it, I'm going to be showing you the two positions that I have opened. If you remember on Monday, I posted a video and there we sold a call and we sold a put. The call that we sold was for Bitcoin because I thought it was too top heavy and it was going to go down mainly because of the liquidation prices. And then for Ethereum, we actually sold a put and I saw a discrepancy and I didn't know if one was right or the other. So I just took a gamble. So let's take a look at how they are performing right now. And let's talk about that together. So as you can see at the bottom of the screen right now, we have the Ethereum for 2600 and the Bitcoin for 70,500. So 70,500 currently Bitcoin is at 67,000. So super far away from that strike, which is fantastic for us we so far are almost three percent in the green with this position but if you look at ethereum we're currently at two thousand six hundred and twenty one dollars so it is fluctuating uh, a little bit above the twenty six hundred for uh, ethereum which was my strike so here we have uh, my position six and a half percent in the red 31 bucks more or less and we have to choose if we're going to close that and take that loss and flip it, meaning we're gonna sell maybe another put below or we just flip it to a call, selling a call. Uh, I don't think selling a call is wise right now, especially because we already went down uh, quite a few percentages since Monday. And I also think that closing it to taking the loss and rolling out just to get a little bit safer is uh, also not an ideal uh, thing. So by looking at the charts for uh, Ethereum, I have to say that the um, this white line right here, which is a moving average, it is getting closer to the 2600. So in a matter of a few days, it should be getting closer there and holding the price of Ethereum, which also is in a very good spot uh, being held here by this green line, which acted as a ceiling and now as a floor for the price itself of Ethereum. So I think it will bounce back. And even if it doesn't hold right here, it will bounce on the EMA that uh, will continue. So the EMA should continue right somewhere like this if it follows the same pattern. So we should see it holding until Friday the 25th. So I believe that we should be safe with this. But if you uh, were in my position and you wanted to change the approach, what you could do is close the 2600 and maybe sell one below the current strike so maybe go to 2500 2550 whatever it is or you just sell a call instead and maybe 2700 2650 whatever would suit you uh, better so here in my case i'm not going to do either i just think i'm going to hold this because i don't think the price will change much from current prices for bitcoin you can see that the moving average is way further below than the ethereum one was but this price right here doesn't seem to have any importance for bitcoin so maybe bitcoin will test again the 66 and a half maybe it'll go even lower maybe Maybe we'll meet halfway with the moving average right here. We are still uncertain. The thing is, if Bitcoin goes down like it did right here on Monday, then everything else will also go down. Ethereum will also go down and I'll be risking my position on Ethereum. But again, I don't think it will, mainly because of this line right here at around 66,800. So I think this will save me if Bitcoin goes down. It should hold right here. Also, if you look on the on one hour chart, you should see some uh, places there where Bitcoin could hold and halt. This was mainly due to the huge liquidity that we saw uh, on Monday. But that being said, I'm just going to be holding both positions. And on Friday, we'll see if we actually lost a lot of money, maybe just a little bit of money, or maybe we just profited from both of them. Because at the end of the day, if Bitcoin stays between the strike of the call and the strike of the put, we should be profitable on both positions. So now let's take a look at a few articles that I think will be good for you to see. Uh, to analyze and maybe uh, understand Bitcoin pricing a little bit better. This one first right here says Bitcoin traders expects price pullbacks, but 73 still is the short term target. This one has a little bit of analysis here on the price regarding this article right here it is mainly speculation and it points out how, for example, the missile to Israel, how it brought the price itself of Bitcoin down by four thousand dollars. And the good news, uh, the political and economical uh, data that we had for the US dollar, how it brought it back up to sixty nine thousand dollars two days ago by the time you're seeing this. So uh, Bitcoin is influenced a lot by the things that are happening. And in the short term, we have not only the elections in the United States, but also 
good macro compared to uh, halving for the past years, which I already mentioned here multiple, multiple times, as you most likely are bored of hearing from me right now. So that being said, the price itself that they are uh, putting at the target is 73,000 above 72K that they suggest. So they believe that by the end of the year, we should see at least new all time highs for Bitcoin. I do tend to agree with this uh, ideology, but my personal belief is that by the end of the year, we should see an 80 to $90,000 Bitcoin, mainly because it is the end of the year target that I have for Bitcoin, because 2025, I think we'll have way more. But all of these can change according to who wins the elections, according to new Fed uh, rates that can go up or down. Maybe they will go down by 50 points, maybe not 50, maybe just 25, 45, whatever it is. So there's a lot of data that can change and influence the pricing itself of Bitcoin. But just by having uh, your Bitcoin, holding your Bitcoin, and even maybe opening leaps, which is what I did in September, I bought leaps for next year. Uh, by doing these, you can be exposed and also ready to take profits with Bitcoin once it rallies to these prices. Now, we have a very good article because it is regarding us options traders. And here it says, Bitcoin option trader says 80K is a given as Trump victory uh, odds spike. The previous percentages between Trump and Kamala Harris was around 50 to 50, maybe 51, 53% to either side, depending on which day someone was on a podcast or not. But now it is getting closer to 60% for Donald Trump compared to Kamala Harris. And this percentage makes uh, options traders very excited because again, most of us, like for example, you saw me talking about before, we have leaps and we have calls ready to go by end of the year. And in my case for September next year. So we have everything for us to be making a lot of money, especially if Trump wins, if he's very crypto friendly, like he's promising he will be, if the Fed cuts rates even more, we have a whole lot of uh, sky to reach with Bitcoin prices. So here there's the speculation that Bitcoin is 69 like it was a few days ago. It was mainly because of the predictions market predicting 60% uh, probability of uh, winning for Donald Trump. And here we have some data that almost all of Bitcoin supply available right now is in profit, saying that 95% of the Bitcoin supply is in profit, with the majority of the coins having been purchased at around $55,000 level. So markets and traders are not only expecting to see Bitcoin uh, perform well if uh, Trump uh, wins, but also if he wins, how is he going to change laws and regulations regarding crypto and the adoption of crypto, especially in the United States that has seen a lot of crypto bans, especially by the SEC. First of all, maybe Gary Gensler will have to go if we want to see the SEC being more uh, crypto friendly. So Gensler has to be switched by someone else and maybe Trump will do that. That is already a good step in the right direction. But then we have also a lot of laws and regulations and just overall friendliness that needs to be stipulated by Trump to make sure the US is crypto friendly. And we've covered on Monday about the uh, hash flow, uh, the hash rate that increased and inflation fears. And all of these news are bullish for Bitcoin, especially if we have a crypto friendly president, like it says here in this article. So this article doesn't jump in in too many details, especially the ones regarding the hash rate. So if you were interested into that, check out the Monday's video where we covered about the hash rate, how it touched all time high. We even show you an image showing that uh, if you zoom out a lot, you're just going to see a diagonal line going up and that's the hash rate. But if you zoom in, you're going to see there's ups and downs on the dailies. But overall, we have the tendency to increase the security by increasing the hash rate of Bitcoin. Here we have an interesting suggestion uh, or an interesting way of seeing things that regardless who wins and lands in the White House, the US government will continue to following an inflationary path for the US dollar. So that being said, the smartest thing to do is to go to things like gold, silver, precious metals, and also digital gold, our good old Bitcoin right here. So that is an interesting way to seeing uh, things uh, compared to just seeing who's going to win, who's going to promise this, who's going to promise that, but also just understand that the US dollar will still be inflationary. So you're still going to be losing money to inflation if you just don't do anything, mainly because the price of things will rise and the power you can buy these things with the US dollars will be less than it was a year ago, which brings devaluation to the US dollar as a whole. So that is for sure a very interesting topic. Then we talk about, again, the uh, hash rate. And another thing usually that I like to go back to is that we also have historical data from previous halving years, halving cycles. So we should be expecting Bitcoin to rally my personal opinion, up to $90,000 in the short term. So 
What do you think? Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you think I'm just spilling out words? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you see as price targets for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the other uh, major coins that you follow. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Friday to see how my options are. In the meantime, check the first link in the description to join the topics and have fun trading. See you then.